Oh, this has this guy's got just an app. Oh, and we finally get the white pieces. So maybe the platform is not rigged after all. And this guy got some epic profile picture. So I, um, after long thought and studying my openings, I have to do this one game. <laughs> um, I just studied chess book course and um, they claimed it was winning for white. So who am I to argue here? The best players in the world are doing it. So I am joining the hype train. Um, let's see. F4. Probably the best move is like King E1 back. I have to, um, okay, F4 looks too aggressive, but why not? Knight F3, and now, in fact, it's not looking so bad. I am starting to enjoy this opening. Okay, Knight G4 check, I'll just go to G1 and and um, H3 next, so it's fine. And if there is no direct um idea here maybe c4 is dangerous i should have taken that into account i sort of saw it but thought i had some like d4 or something okay now we just develop and it's looking fine what are my favorite openings well this is uh, certainly one of them by now i didn't um know it too well yet but i'm i'm uh, i've seen other strong players employ it and i haven't seen white losing with this opening before so um, this is starting to become one of my favorite openings otherwise it's hard I, I like to play in fact all kind of openings um, in all honesty and um um i'm i'm really open-minded in that sense that i don't have a specific favorite opening but of course, there's some openings I lean towards more, like a sharp Sicilian is always nice, or um, uh, any kind of sharp, interesting opening. Why not? <laughs> Have you ever considered going into competitive chess boxing? Um, <laughs> I have not, but I know the sport exists, and um, it it kind of seems like interesting. Uh, but I would get beaten up so bad, so. <laughs> I would have to join the to go to the gym like um and <laughs> even then like I'm I'm just um a slim boy right I have no chance but it's a it's fun sport I've seen some clips and stuff okay let's close the position and go back with the bishop um sometimes to get a good position you have to retreat your pieces a little bit. And um, that's what I'm doing here. And I got this real nice block on E3. The only thing missing is this rook on F1. That would be a nice addition. So, and sometimes you can also just take pawns. Okay, he's threatening to take on C2. Then I've got rook E1 or bishop D3. It should be fine. It should be fine. <laughs> okay, see you, Monkey King. You taught me a lot today, so thanks for that. Okay, so Queen takes c2, I guess Bishop d3. Or do I have any other tricks? Oh, wait, I only have 30 seconds. We cannot have this game be in vain. And um, King g2, Rook hc1, connect to Rooks, and... Um, it is looking fine to me. I can take on e7, but I prefer um, developing. I'm not playing this great, but it's all right. He's he's speeding up. He knows he uh, he can beat me on time here. Rook a6. What? That was surprising. Okay, now up a piece. This should be relatively easy. 
If I can uh, stop his counterplay, queen c4. Seems I didn't want to take on c6 because queen takes d3. Okay, let's go for checkmate. And I think I got this one. Although I should not speak too soon. Wait, how? What? What's the mate after queen takes d3 though? Like, okay, I see an easy win there. Yeah. This seems easy enough. You have knight takes b8, rose queen e8, and now I'll win this easily. Bishop d4. And the bone cloud prevails one more time. Alrighty. That was a nice game, in fact, I think. I am um, happy. And... Um, Strangely enough, Chess24 recommends me the Doretsky Endgame Manual, 5th edition by Aaron Lamy, but I don't think there was much of an endgame in this game. And um, while it is surely an interesting course, I don't think it's quite fitting, but 